Hey guys, this is Dan from Ledger Support. How's it going? Um, okay, so today I'm going to talk about an issue that happens a lot to you guys, especially if you have multiple Ledger devices or if you have multiple recovery phrases. So let me show you what the issue is. Um, just a quick word about my setup. Today I'm working with my Nano S and I also have a Nano X with me and I have one account in Ledger Live, which is an Ethereum account. What I'm going to try to do is spend from this account using my Nano S, okay? And I'll show you the issue and how to solve it. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so I'm going to select the account. All right, now I'm going to select the send button. I'm going to send to this address. This is my personal address. Click continue. All right, send max. A medium fee that's that's okay for me click continue and continue again and let's see what happens okay so first of all uh the device is asking me to open the ethereum app which is normal expected okay because you need the ethereum app in order to spend from an account okay so let's do that okay it says application is ready let's see what happens in ledger live aha uh -huh. okay so there is an issue here there's a, an error message something went wrong please check that your hardware wallet is set up with the recovery phrase or passphrase associated to the selected accounts we'll learn more if you click learn more by the way that will take you to a health center article that deals with how to solve this issue but i'm going to tell you directly how to solve it so what happened well it's a recovery phrase issue okay the recovery phrase is the 24 words that was initially created by your device when you first set it up. Now, what this message means is that you have the wrong recovery phrase inside your device, and that's why you can't spend from the account. So just a quick word about the recovery phrase. It's not just a random list of words, okay? Your recovery phrase, it's not optional. It's actually your private keys, and you need your private keys to spend from your accounts okay so in my case i have the wrong recovery phrase inside my device so i don't have the private keys that control the account that i'm trying to spend from and that's why i'm getting this issue so what happened okay so many different things might have happened first of all maybe my device was reset at some point um so when the device is reset the private keys get wiped from the device it sounds scary but it's not actually scary uh what it means is that the device just forget about the private keys. The private keys still exist because they exist on your recovery phrase, okay? But the private keys uh, temporarily forgot about those private keys. So what you can do instead, you can restore the private keys inside your device by using your recovery phrase. So maybe that's what you should do. Maybe the device was reset. Instead of restoring your old recovery phrase into your device, you went ahead and selected set up as a new device. As a result, the device created a new recovery phrase for you. And that is that recovery phrase that is currently inside the device and not the recovery phrase that controls the accounts that you're trying to spend from. Okay, so that can be the first thing that can happen. Uh, the second thing that can happen is whether you have a passphrase or not. Um, so a passphrase is an optional uh, security feature where basically you have your 24 recovery phrase and you had a 25th word. And now you have two sets of accounts. You have accounts that are secured by your 24 words and you have accounts that are secured by your 25 words. And the way you can toggle between those two accounts is by using a different pin. So you've got one pin that unlocks the private keys that are secured by your 24 word phrase. And you've got a pin that unlocks the private keys that are secured by your uh, 25 words uh, phrase. Okay, so that's the difference. So maybe you use the wrong pin to log into your device. And that's the reason why the device doesn't have uh, the private keys to spend from this account. Uh, that might explain why you're getting the, the error. Okay, that might be the second thing. Um, another issue might be that you have only one device. Okay, for example, you have only one Nano S device, but you have multiple recovery phrases. Um, in this case, you just have the wrong phrase inside the device and all you need to no do is reset the device, restore the device with the correct recovery phrase, and then try the transaction again. And that's fine. Okay, again, restoring a device 
is safe as long as you keep your 24 word recovery phrase this is very very important guys this is not optional i know it sounds optional because it says recovery phrase but it's not just for recovery purposes it's really your private key so keep them secure please do it um okay so that's the third uh scenario where you have one device but multiple recovery phrases all you need to do is just rotate the correct phrase inside the recovery uh the device okay now the last scenario is where you actually have multiple ledger devices so in my case i said i had a nano s but i also have a nano x um now just so you know the nano x is seeded with a different recovery phrase than the one that's in my nano s okay so it has different private keys so hey maybe the private keys to to spend from my, my ethereum account are actually in my nano x and not my nano s so let's see so what I'm going to do, I'm going to unplug my Nano S from my computer. Okay, now I'm going to uh, I'm going to turn on my Nano X. All right, I'm going to unlock the Nano X. Okay, boom. Enter the pin. I'm only using a four-digit pin, but for you guys at home use a eight digit pin it's much more secure this is my work nano okay it doesn't have a lot of money on it but um, if it's your personal nano definitely use an eight digit pin much much more secure okay so i'm going to unlock it make sure i've got the ethereum map that's the case so boom here we go application is ready so i'm ready to create the transaction i'm going to cross that out uh, i'm going to click account again so i'm going to do the same thing again um up click here and send up just want to make sure it's plugged in okay continue here i'm going to send the max click continue and click continue and let's see what happens let's see what happens ah all right so here you see like i'm getting like a different message here seems like the transaction went through uh, to my device and now it's expecting me to confirm the transaction and you can tell because it says review transaction on my device i'm not actually accept and send the transaction but all i need to do if i wanted to was to accept and send right um, but just to show you that the issue was solved by just using a different device that has the private keys that control the accounts that was giving me an error uh, before okay um so again the things that you have to if you get this this error okay the something went wrong wrong passphrase wrong uh, recovery um uh, private key sorry all you have to think is okay was my ledger device reset and have i created a new recovery phrase um do i own multiple ledger devices and if yes do they have multiple uh, different recovery phrases and can i try different devices to spring from the account um do i own multiple recovery phrases if yes i might need to uh, rotate those phrases into my device and try um, multiple times to spend from the account and whether my um, device has um, a passphrase or not okay so those are the things you should uh, check and to make sure that you have the correct private keys to spend from the correct account so if you want a little more information about this we have a cool help center article that just talks about everything i just said called wrong private keys for accounts and it just basically um, presents the issue the same issue that we dealt with and then it presents like all the different steps that you can do to try to solve this issue and uh, yep that's it guys so if you have any issues or if you want to you know if you need anything really please don't hesitate to reach out you can reach us out via the support page all you need to do is click on the help button here uh, also, you can find us on Twitter. We are at ledger underscore uh, support, and you can also ask your questions there. Okay. Um, I hope that was useful, guys, and uh, I'll see you next time for a different video. Cheers.